guys. I am here to do my very first review for The Wig Company. So uh, about a month ago, maybe not quite, I posted a, a poll on my YouTube channel in the community section with five wigs from The Wig Company house brand that I um, wanted you guys to help me choose between for a review for them. So the wig company reached out to me. That was a really complicated way to say this. The wig company reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to review one of their house brand wigs. And I was so excited I included you guys in that. That's a better way to say it. Um, and so I got quite a few votes, comments, and you guys helped me choose. And the wig company was so thrilled that they actually let me pick two wigs. So, the wig I'm going to do right now was sort of the runner-up to the one that won. This is Summer Heat. Oh, I just dropped the tag. Summer Heat in the color F829. So, Summer Heat was tied with another one. I'm, I'm blanking on the name right now. So, I actually let the wig company pick the one, the second, the kind of the runner-up wig that didn't win the poll because they were tied. And this is the one they sent me. This is a heat-friendly wig. But before I get into it, um, I'm going to show you the box because the box is really cute. So, here's the box that it comes in. So, it's from their statements collection. So you see that it says that, and it has a tag, and it opens in such a unique way. It's not like the typical shoebox kind of wig. It's got a flip up top. It was just, it came so nicely packaged. Um, it gives tips, flat iron styling tips, curling iron styling tips. Uh, it talks about, they pack them inside out when they come. Um, it talks about their lace front and how to keep it nice. I mean, just some really nice things. And then it also comes with another little tag on there in addition to the color tag. This is the tag it says once this is removed, you can't return the wig. Um, if you're not totally satisfied with this item, you can return it within guarantee period for an exchange or refund. The product must be returned in new condition, neither to be worn or altered. So I, was, I just think the packaging is really, really cute. All right, so let's get to the wig. I'm, um, this is gonna be kind of a two-parter here, all in one video, but I'm gonna show you the wig out of the box. This is Summer Heat. Again, what color did I say it was? Um, F8 slash 29. Really pretty, it's got some very, very pronounced highlights. You can see that. The 29 highlights, which is an auburn, is really, really, it's stripey. It's very stripey. All right, so I'm gonna put her on for you. I have not done anything. This is out of the box. I did try her on. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what she looks like out of the box before I do anything with her. Um, she's pretty cute out of the box though, I will admit. I think she could use a little bit of, maybe some water just to kind of wake up the fibers. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna do something. Look at how cute. I mean, really, really not bad out of the box at all. The fibers feel awesome. Really uh, soft. Kind of silky. Definitely, definitely they feel really good. I think she's got a little bit of box hair. You know, this side kind of wants to flip under. This side wants to flip out. You know, nothing that can't be managed what you know at all. I just want to give you guys a sense though before I go mess around with her. Really, really cute. So she has a lace front. It's actually a pretty decent lace front. And then she does have a mono part as well. So we'll get into all of the specs of her. Maybe I'll just show you that real quick. Because then when I come back, actually, she doesn't have a mono part. I'm mistaken. She has a very deep lace front. Look at how deep that is. Over two inches. So in that way, it's kind of like um, some of the main attraction wigs that I have, where they don't have a monofilament, but they, like um, Hollywood, very, very deep, which makes it seem like there is a, 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 um, a part, uh, because the, look at how far back it goes. This lace front 
is that deep. So it's practically a, a part. I would consider that a part. So you only have, you have the lace front, but then you can kind of part. And then what the beauty is, then you can part her anywhere. You don't even need a full monofilament. You can part her in the middle. You can part her on the opposite side. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, so I'm going to play with the style a little bit and see what I can do. I will tell you that this is a very, very budget-friendly wig, which was one of the reasons why I was so, so excited to do this review because I really would love to bring some more budget-friendly wigs to my sisters who, you know, can't afford to spend hundreds of dollars on a wig. So I'm going to play around with her a little bit and then I'll come back. So just hang on. Hey guys, I'm back. I've had some chance to play with Summer Heat and I can share with you my impressions. So first of all, I absolutely love the lace front on this one because it's so deep. It really does mimic a part. I mean, it goes all the way back to right about here. And so all of this is lace front and that is just tremendous. So while she doesn't technically have a mono part, I treat lace fronts that are this deep as though they're a mono part because, I mean, you can change that parting. Look at the lace front there and put it wherever you want it. So you are not beholden to just one way of styling this girl. And I just love that. Um, I am such a fan. Aesthetica has done that. Um, the Ocean, and I love Ocean. Um, Aesthetica has done that on Ocean. I think it's Ocean. Um, you know, so some wig makers make that uh, concession where you get more of lace, then you don't need the monofilament. It does help to keep the price down. So I love that about this wig so much, honestly. And just look at how much different she lays now that I changed that part. I really actually like the way she lays this way better. I think it gives both sides a little bit of lift. Um, when it was parted on the left side, which is where I normally part my wigs, it just seemed one side was poofier than the other, whereas this really balances it out. Adorable. I love that. Um, she's She has a little bit of permatees, but not much. Just enough to give her the body that I look for in a wig. You know, I don't want a wig to lay too flat on my head because then it accentuates my round cheeks and my long face. This is perfect. It's got just the right amount of permatease that I can get a little bit of body, but it's not crazy, it's not poofy and pillowy, um, but do keep in mind that there is some permatease in her. Something else to keep in mind, if you're going to, if you're liking, you know, brunettes and you like highlighted brunettes, this color F8 slash 29, while super pretty, is very stripey. Very stripey. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm pretty okay with that. You know, maybe I wish it were slightly more blended, but again, it's just be aware of the colors. Get a different color if you don't like that. The lace front is very good. Very good. You know, I think the challenge we face as brunettes is that you can see the knotting a little bit. And that's so typical of lace fronts. I mean, aesthetica's, um, the only ones where I have found brunettes that you can't see the, the knotting as well are so far are generally Raquel Welch and Gabor because they like to put their highlighting right up at the lace. Other than that, this lace front is on par with so many other manufacturers. I don't mind it. I'm comfortable with this level of knotting because it's super fine. So I, I, I give the lace front a thumbs up. Honestly, the fibers feel amazing. I love the way these fibers feel. But that said, she is heat friendly. So she's long enough that she is going to get some friction on your clothes. What I do like though, is that because she's more of a straight style, any kind of fraying or frizzing that you get on the ends due to friction is easily remedied with steam. Honestly, you just take a, like a round brush and some steam and you just steam out anything that happens with those ends. So I'm not worried about it um, at all. Um, and I can add a little bit of curl to her, which I think I might want to do. So. Overall, my impressions with Summer Heat are great. Thumbs up. I think if you want to see another review on this wig, go check out um, Atypical 60. Uh, Kathy 
that's her channel and she did a review on summer heat and uh, summer heat looks adorable on her so you've got another option to see her on a different face shape different kind of coloring all of those things so i am so thrilled uh to have this wig i am i'm loving it and um i actually am filming this after I already released my fascinating video. So in the beginning of this video, I talk about how this is the first wig I've reviewed. I ended up finishing fascinating before I finished this one. So keep that in mind. Um, I've already reviewed fascinating, which I love. So, so far that means I've had two wigs from the wig company from two different of their house lines. This one is from Statements. That one was from Fashion Club. And I love them both. So this, the price on this one, I just looked it up just now when I posted or before I started filming this. And I think it's on sale for $105, um, $105 for this with a gorgeous lace front. Um, wow. I think the retail on there said $199. I don't know if they ever charge full retail. A lot of uh, wake sellers, they always discount a little bit off the retail and then they'll offer sales. But if you like this and are in the market, get over to the wig company and buy it for $105. Holy moly. And they've got a really good return policy. So anyway, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I give statement, I give um, Summer Heat two thumbs up. I am going to be wearing this wig. I'm going to be playing with her. I'm going to be styling her. I'm going to try to curl her. I mean, I can wear her off my face. I am a happy, happy wig wearer right now. Thanks so much, The Wig Company, for sending her to me. I hope I get to review other wigs for you someday. This has been really fun. Take care, you guys. Wait a minute, I haven't done the outside look yet. Stick around for that outside look. Hey guys, all right, here I am with summer heat outside. I'm gonna try to give you a look in a lot of different lighting here. I got some bright sun. Very bright sun. <sighs> I never remember to put my sunglasses on. That's all right. What do you guys think? Hmm? Let me get over here so I'm out of the bright sunlight. I think it's really pretty. The only caveat I have for this wig is the stripiness. If you don't like bold, stripy highlights, this color has it, but they have other colors. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I don't want to take this one off. I love it. I love how it feels. I love, I just love everything about it right now. It's really cute. Thanks for watching, you guys.